I'm going to review this hotel in the following categories. Each of them can be rated maximum 5 stars, where 4 stars is really good and 5 stars is exceptional. Our first category is location. Here I give 5 stars. Kempinski Filiales Zeiten Hotel is located at the, the famous Maximilian Street in the center of Munich. It's one of the most expensive streets in Germany, with the highest retail rents. This street is home to luxury designer boutiques, the Five Continents Museum and the National Theatre. Kempinski Hotel is considered as one of the most prestigious hotels in Munich. It's a very historic place and was built in the middle of 19th century. The luxury cars parked in front of the hotel testify to the prestige of this place and the wealth of the guests visiting it. Kempinski Hotel is situated within the walking distance from Marienplatz, which is one of the main attractions in Munich. From the hotel, you can also walk to the Odeonplatz, where is another tourist attraction, the Residence, which is the largest inner city palace in Germany. Hello, travelers! We are a vegan family and we love traveling in style. There is me, Gosia, my husband, Piotr, and our son, Adam. Our second category is service. Here, unfortunately, I give two stars. We had rather cold greeting at the reception, without any welcome drink. The staff was polite, but very distant, and they didn't smile. When we arrived, our room was not ready, so we decided to wait in the lobby, as we were informed the room would be prepared as soon as possible. We were sitting there for almost two hours, and the staff didn't make any extra effort to make the waiting time more pleasant by offering a drink or board games books for a child, which we found out later were available in the hotel. The only nice thing was that when we ordered a dessert and a coffee, we got two vegan pralines as a gift. Later, when we were in our room, a staff member brought a plush toy for Adam. What's this? A what's lion. A lion? What's his name? Kamben. Kamben? Kamben? Kampinski? Kampinski. Oh, so nice. The turn down service was rather simple. Apart from putting a mat to step in after waking up and dimming the lights, there was nothing more. The slippers were prepared only for one person. The service was also extremely slow. We asked for ironing set a couple times and we were waiting for it about 50 minutes before we finally got it. The third category is room. Here I give 4 stars. We stayed at Grand Deluxe Room. It was quite comfortable and had enough space for two adults and one child. Unfortunately, we found out that the room was not prepared for vegans, as both pillows and duvets were with feather. We asked for the change and there was no problem to do that. Hello, so we are in Kempinski, Zeichen Hotel in Munich. I will show you how our room looks like. There was a relaxation area separated from the sleeping area by the working desk. Adam really liked the large TV with kids' channels. So we also received a welcome gift for vegans, especially for vegans. Two apples and some nice veggie snacks. Not too bad. Another advantage of this room was the long coffee machine with good selection of coffees and teas. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I really like this um, coffee, coffee and tea set. Here we have very nice choice of different kind of teas. And we can also have some different coffees. Espresso or lungo, depends what you like. Here we also have a um, complimentary water. And let's check the mini bar now. Here we have glasses for different kinds of drinks. Also some cups for our coffee and tea. And here we have a good selection of different beverages. 
alcoholic, non-alcoholic. Look, here we have a vegan wine. This is really nice. I'm very surprised that you can we, we found here vegan reasoning. I think it's from Germany. Yes, it's from Germany. What I like about this room is that it's not a very big room, but the setting is very, very well constructed. There is a sleeping part here. And there is a living room area here. So it's a nice division. There is a working area in between bed and living area. Okay, when it comes to the decorations, um, this room is pretty simple, I would say. But the thing that I really like in every place, like restaurants or hotels, are fresh flowers. And here, we have nice fresh flowers. It really gives this, you know, this is a small detail that shows that this hotel is a bit more luxury than other hotels. Um, it's a nice touch. Um, I really appreciate this. What I really liked about this hotel was extensive room comfort menu. There were many different kinds of pillows to choose, a special sleeping menu, entertainment selection, and kids uh, amenities and equipment menu. You could also order different amenities for a dog if you travel with your pet. The bathroom was quite spacious with a large shower and two sinks. All the cosmetics in the bathroom were vegan from the luxurious Italian brand Salvatore Ferragamo. We were also provided with special cosmetics for a child. I want to show you something. <laughs> it makes me laugh a bit, but it's nice and a nice gesture. So we are in Germany, in Munich. It's a very rainy place and normally there are not too many sunny days. <laughs> but guess what we found in the bathroom? We have a sun protection with 30 factors, so we have a very strong sun. And we have after sun lotion. The fourth category is vegan food. Here I give three stars. Breakfasts are served in Schwarzreiter Tagesbar and in Schwarzreiter Restaurant. Tagesbar represents the more casual part of the Schwarzreiter Restaurant, which offers a Michelin star culinary experience, however not for vegans. The chef refused to prepare a vegan dinner menu. The restaurant consists of couple rooms, each of them is decorated in different luxury style. The Tagesbar offers beautiful views on the famous Maximilianstrasse. I must admit that this breakfast restaurant was one of the most beautiful I have seen in the luxury hotels. The breakfast buffet was rather small, with very few vegan options. Luckily, before our arrival date, I asked the hotel staff to prepare some additional vegan breakfast options for us. In the breakfast buffet, my attention was drawn to the large selection of high-quality marmalades, produced especially for the Kempinski Hotel. Also, the choice of bread was quite impressive. There was also a choice of fresh fruit and freshly squeezed juices. <laughs> I think like um, carrot, and I think so this carrot mm -hmm. juice. Then I see this juice. I think so like orange juice, and I think so it's orange juice. Which one is better? I think so. It's orange. It's orange juice. This is better, this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's drink this. 
And it's also oranges. It's also oranges. Okay. It's Great. The real stars of our breakfast were freshly baked vegan croissants, which were delicious. We also got vegan cinnamon pancakes and warm apple strudel. Later we were served vegan sausages and a strange looking yellow mash, which was supposed to be vegan scramble eggs. The yellow mash was the worst vegan dish I have ever tried in a hotel, and it was not eatable. In the very stylish historic hotel lobby, you can enjoy a cup of tea or coffee with some vegan pastries or pralines. All the pastries look really beautiful and I was very happy to find a vegan one with vegan white chocolate and strawberry mousse. It was the best vegan dish in the hotel. I also found there the most beautiful vegan pralines I have ever seen. They were called vegane colada and with a combination of tastes of coconut, pineapple and lime with chocolate. Adam liked them a lot. The pastry was not his favorite, but for me it was the best vegan pastry I've had in Munich. All tea lovers will be pleased to know that the lobby has a unique selection of teas. In all these silver cans there are 30 different kinds of tea. In the Kempinski Hotel in Munich there's also a very stylish, cozy bar with a live piano music. It's a perfect place for evening entertainment. The selection of cocktails is not very impressive, but there are many vegan options. The fifth category are facilities. Here I give three stars. In the Kempinski Spa, there's a wellness area with indoor pool. According to the hotel website, it was supposed to be heated. However, the water was pretty cold. There's also sauna and a steam room, which was actually out of service. Kids can use the swimming pool until 4 pm. There's also a small indoor and outdoor relaxing area with sun lounges. The hotel gym is not very big, but it's well equipped. The cosmetics brand used for spa treatments is a German brand Babo. Babo offers some vegan cosmetics, but you need to inform the staff in advance that you require a vegan treatment. The total score in our review is 3.4. It's a very disappointing score as for the 5-star luxury hotel. I do not recommend to stay at this hotel if top quality service and details are priority to you. In this kind of places, you should feel like royal VIP and really spoiled not just another visiting customer. <laughs>